So today, we're going to be checking out the Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. Uh, to my knowledge, it's supposed to be an extremely simple uh, app. It's supposed to be kind of similar to the Trading Card Game Live, but the gameplay is supposed to be a lot faster paced and a lot more simplistic. If you're into Yu-Gi-Oh!, which I used to somewhat be, it's kind of like Yu-Gi-Oh! Speed Duel. It's best to think of it that way. Of course, this is normally an unboxing channel, and... Uh, I like to branch out once in a while, so we're going to kind of see what this has to offer. I'm not like a pro player by any means. I barely even actually play the TCG. Oh no, I have to dox my birthday. Data sharing? None. Thank you. Why would it not need to download more data? Why can't it just download all of the data to begin with? Oh no, my cartridge is like not... It's all blurry. That's what happens when you don't feel like hooking up your studio lights. It's really hard to do with this setup and you have to... Uh, there we go, it's nice and crooked. You have to use the sun as your light source. <laughs> All right, download is done. Not a bad little intro animation. Uh, it's just kind of like showing off some artwork. So this app is supposed to have some cards that are only available in TCG Pocket that aren't in the actual physical form in the card game or on obviously TCG Live. I think it's because they're supposed to have like special animations and stuff to them. Welcome to Pokemon Trading Card Game Pocket. In this game, you'll you can enjoy building a Pokemon Trading Card Game collection in your mobile device. Uh, to begin, please tell us your player name. Oh, I can choose my icon. I mean, we could go with base set Pikachu, but I like that Snorlax. You can open a booster pack. Okay. So genetic apex. I remember seeing this in like screenshots on the App Store. I'm guessing that I, I guess as they are TCG Pocket, this is a set that. They're going to be doing sets like this, like little sets that are exclusive to uh, uh, this app. Let's go with the Pikachu. Oh, you have to actually like... Oh, wow, that's cool. I like the way they rendered that because I drew the line kind of like jagged going down. It actually followed it. So, okay. Okay, I have to actually like swipe. You got the Diglett, the Paris... Okay, so I'm guessing that means uncommon, right? They're changing the symbols up on you here. You have the rapid dash. There's also no uh, set symbol down here, or set code like we have nowadays. Uh, and RK9 EX, so four star rarity. So ultra rare? I'm guessing three star is rare, and then four is ultra. Well, diamonds, not stars. Okay, neat. Grand total cards, five. Swipe up on the cards to register them Register them to the card decks. Okay. Okay, so it's the bigger set than I thought. 226, one number off. One number off from my username. Uh, take a look at the cards you've registered in the decks. Yeah. So, interesting. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, let me do it. Let, let me do the card thing. It's neat. I mean, it, it kind of gives you an effect that you can't replicate on, like, actual cards, you know? Um, kind of seeing, like, the seam on the left side there is a bit, uh, odd to me. But, yeah, I mean, it's, it's pretty cool. One hour, one minute. So, I, to my understanding, you're supposed to be able to open, like, so many packs for free a day, and that's probably what that timer is for. So we have missions. Okay. So, register five to the deck, to the decks. Okay. And I got two shopping bags. You can open a booster pack once your pack stamina is full. It looks like you're able to open a pack if you just wait a little longer. Back, your pack stamina has recovered. Try opening a booster pack. Okay, well, let's go with Mewtwo this time. Notifications can let you know when you're able to open packs. You can turn on notifications by going to the menu, um, other than settings. Uh, honestly, as much as I hate constantly getting notifications, um, especially because my job, is, I, 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 I get notifications all day long, and some of them are important, and I hate getting them from non-important things. If I enjoy this enough, I might actually turn that on. It's never a good sign if I have to pull this out of my pocket. Okay, so let's just try to go, like, can, can you destroy a card is the question. Let's just, like, no, no, let me, oh, I was trying to go really far down, it won't let you. Uh, the trio, we have the Bulbasaur, Ponyta, Sand Shrew. Okay, Hollow Mewtwo, so that's, I assume, is rare, it's three star. It's a little five card pack, it's basically how they do it in Japan. There, there needs to be a setting to turn that off, where you have to swipe up and it throws all the cards into the decks. 
it's kind of annoying. Um, I assume if you do a bunch of packs at once, it only happens once at the end, but unless you're like nearing completion, I don't really care to see that every time. A new feature has been unlocked, Wonder Pick. Okay, I am level two. You got player EXP from opening packs, so you leveled up. You just unlocked the Wonder Pick feature. Let's take a look at it. Results from booster packs opened by other players are shown here. So somebody got the beautiful Squirtle. In Wonder Pick, you can get one of the cards chosen randomly from a booster pack that was opened by another player. Note that player will not lose any cards. Wonder Picks are updated at regular intervals. Booster packs opened by your friends may also appear as Wonder Picks. Okay, so I'm guessing you can do, like, Pokemon Go style, like, adding a friends list. Um, Wonder Picking requires Wonder Stamina, which recovers over time. You can reduce this, uh, the time it takes until Wonder Stamina recovers by using items. Also, special kinds of Wonder Picks that may appear, like bonus, okay. An expired Wonder Pick can be made available by using a Rewind Watch. So basically, we added a bunch of ways to take your money. Let's try a wonder pick for real. Yeah, I want the squirt, please. Uh, no cost. Alright, it's gonna be that one. Oh my god, okay. I, I feel like the, 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 this is seeded. It's heavily in your odds to get the good thing on your first time doing this. In fact, it might even be impossible to not get it. But I, I don't know. Okay, well, we got the beautiful squirt. Look at that boy, not really any like 3D effects, but I I'm a big fan of any full art card, so I'm still happy about it. Man, I really wanted the wiggly tough. This is a long tutorial. Okay, <laughs> this is the end of the basic tutorial. Now try exploring some of the game's features. Uh, packs then are refilled so you can open booster packs every day. Uh, try unlocking new features by completing beginner missions, getting player experience, and increasing your level. Your pack stamina has fully recovered. Try opening a booster pack. And no, enjoy playing the Pokemon. Okay, cool. Um, so it looks like there's only the one set so far. Okay, so all the cards you own are shown here. You tap on a card to enlarge it a few more detail. You can also see cards you do not own if you tap the toggle switch. Okay, okay. okay. If you obtain duplicates, you can exchange them for flare, which can be used to change the card's appearance. You can watch the videos for further details. Okay, so you can preview what card flare looks like and apply it in my cards. You can also see their dra dramatic effects and motion during battles. That's kind of cool. This video shows you how to obtain flare. Well, maybe the obtain flare button is what we need. You tap this icon if you want to see this explanation again. Okay, so you know, I do flare on my little squirtle. Okay, I don't have enough of whatever is required. Um, special shop ticket. Okay, so that's kind of what the animation looks like. That's neat. Um, but I need 500 of that. I forgot what they called it. Um, and then, of course, one of the card. That makes sense. Oh, you, okay, so yeah, I forgot. I said you have to have duplicates. I'd have to have two of the squirrel in order to do that. that. That's a neat system. Okay, so down here we have the social hub. Community showcases... Favorite illustrations. Okay. I I can't say I under. Yeah, those are some illustrations. Um. Okay. So trade isn't a thing yet, but you can trade, so that's interesting. And then, of course, you can add up to 99 friends. Which I assume is mostly so you can look at their showcases, but then when trading releases, that'll be the big thing, is you can add um, your friends in order to trade cards back and forth. And then, of course, whenever you do the, what did they call it? The Wonder Pick. They mentioned there's a chance that your friends will appear here. Um... Okay, so yeah, you can get special items instead of cards in some of these. So let's go to missions, login, complete, thank you. Um, so you have daily missions, you have beginner missions. Um, and it does the usual, like, mobile game thing, where it's like, oh, I'll complete so many missions to get extra rewards up at the top. Uh, Dex missions, deck missions, event missions, and premium mission, uh, uh, missions. 
So let's see how much they're charging for this. You can open one more pack every day if you pay for the pay for the premium pass. Um, that was way too fast. You can take on premium missions. Premium missions will be unlocked uh, by taking on these missions. You can get promo cards and other items. First two weeks at no cost. That's interesting. Uh, first time subscribers to premium pass may get it at no f at no cost for two weeks. Note if you would like to only subscribe to the premium pass for no trial cost, yeah, you have to cancel it at least 24 hours before it ends. Okay. So how much do they charge? Whoa! Ten dollars. Ten dollars a month. So you can get a virtual binet. That just de... Wow, okay. So, for the sake of this video, I'm gonna be signing up to it with the two-week trial, and then, uh, canceling immediately. <laughs> okay, it's still processing my payment. I just wanna say, like, games have gotten more expensive, but, like, the biggest thing to me is how much people are charging for, like, battle passes and skins and all of that. Uh, I've mentioned before on the channel, I casually play Overwatch. Sometimes I get too into it. I haven't played it in a little bit. But some of the skins on that are, like, $60, like a full price game to change what one character looks like, right? The, this battle pass being $10 is wild, especially at release. Like you would think at release it would be like, you know, like three or four dollars. Then when more sets release and more features become available, then they would increase the price. I don't know. Like $120 a year for virtual cards, man. I can open a booster pack. Okay, we'll look at that in a minute. Um, so another thing I want to point out, when I'm saying like this game is like, you know, it just released, uh, all of that fun stuff. Um, where is the, yeah, social community showcases. What I said, charging $10 is wild because there's not going to be a whole lot of content yet. Have you, did you notice here, all of these have that, say, oh, well, there's a different one. Um, so I guess you have two different Meowth images that you can select when you make a showcase. Two, those are your max options. And when we went to our cards, we got to obtain Flare. Okay, there's only one option for this one, but for the other one, it showed two within one weird one. There, there's not many options right now. The charge $10 a month, $120 a year is wild. Oh, there's a search button. Oh, there's no Absol in the game yet. Well, that's the end of the video. All right, let's go check out their shop. Okay, daily gift. So, like Pokemon Go. Exchange completed. Simple. Okay, so these require whatever this is. Shop ticket. Obtainable by completing mission event missions or from step-up battles. Okay, so... You just earned those for free. I guess you also have emblems special. Okay, so you get different play mats and all that. That's interesting. Limited time and event. So yeah, these are the covers. So there, 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 there are two. And then there is a backdrop, which I assume is for for the app itself. Uh, premium. Okay, so this is where we get into spending money. Obtainable while doing premium missions. Okay, maybe not. Um, interesting. Pokey Gold, so this is where... Yeah, purchasable at the shop. Um, so this is where you can spend money. Let's see how much things are going to cost for this thing. We have, like, release... Reduced price because it just released. But how much is it normally? So, a dollar for five. Or five dollars for twenty-five. Which is probably what a lot of people would go for on here, right? So twenty-five for five dollars. Twenty-five gets you halfway to one of the two things that you can purchase, and it's the cheaper of the two. And then you'd have to spend ten dollars in order to get the extra five, right? Or what was the other one? Okay, so yeah, you have to spend another dollar in order to reach it exactly. So that's a six dollar bundle right here. No, 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 because it's twenty-five. Yeah, 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 yeah. So you have to spend ten dollars, and then you'd have five left over. I, I hate these business practices. All right, the gifts thing is lighting up. From the development team, claim. Advanced ticket. This ticket cannot be used yet. <laughs> Wait and see what it's for. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, can I turn on dark mode? Can that be a thing? Um. Nope. No dark mode. So we, we have 12 pack hourglasses. Reduce the time it takes to get, uh, reduce the time to get pack stamina. Reduces the time to open packs uh, by one hour. 
Okay, so you can get them as mission rewards. So let's back to the home screen. Because I believe we have, yeah, a handful to open here. I can open a booster pack. Yeah, I know, it's why I clicked on it, stupid. Um, all right, let's go. What is this five points? You accumulate pack points by using pack stamina to open booster packs. You can exchange a set amount of pack points for cards of your choosing. Um, okay, okay, okay. So right now we have five pack points, which we earned just from opening packs. Once you get enough, you if there's a card that you're hunting down, well, if you have enough points for it, you can just get it outright. So let's say we wanted Maltrays. Well, 500, you can get that Maltrays. Okay, some of those don't look too bad. Mewtwo EX 2005. Oh, look at that Mewtwo. Okay, we got some good artwork in here. We got our full art trainers. Yeah, Zapdos, my boy. We're we're not we're not looking too bad on some of this art. Okay, where are the dark types? Maybe Absol didn't appear because I don't own him. Nope, there is no Absol. Okay, well I'm sad. Anyways, open Charizard pack. Let's go. All right, let's try and really carefully. No, 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 I am not. Okay, I have to go so fast. Wow, okay, not great. Uh, we have a Vioplume. Okay, so immediately with a rare, that's interesting. You think it would be following the norm of like common, common, you know, you do all your commons, then your uncommons, then you get to the rares and good stuff. Okay, we have a base set Kadabra. Interesting. So yeah, we are definitely getting reused artwork in here, but some of those things we saw were definitely not reused artwork. Uh, the number 16 brings to my Dragonite. Okay, so it's like, oh yeah, 16 cards. Here's a thing about Pokemon number 16. Wait, he's not number 16, so I probably should have actually read that. I'm dumb. So like, I have multiple packs I can open, but it makes me go through that every time. So let's open another Charizard. I'm gonna open it from this side. You can't choose where I open it from. Machoke, we have a Heat Moor, an Ekans, a Sand Slash. Boring. I have to wonder how often we're gonna get sets on here. It looks like, you know, because we are reusing artwork, it, it, it looks like we are going to be getting, like, all unique sets to this app. We're not gonna get, like, you know, our traditional sets being released on here. More so, you're gonna get some cards from them on here. Uh, let's go to Pikachu. So it makes me think that uh, we might see releases on here. Oh, wow, you can spin it. I was trying to like, okay, so yeah, you can just go pick a random pack. I want that one. Um, but it makes me think that we're probably going to get releases on here about as often as we do the actual TCG, if I had to guess. Oh, there's something back there. Let me let me get to it. Another RK9. Okay, so we could try out the flare system if I have enough of the thingies to do so. Yes, I know. Now it's going to show me the cards. Okay, so I got 25. You like 25 cards. 25 is Pikachu's national dex number. When several Pikachu together, the electricity could build to cause lightning storms. Well, thank you for that little tech tip, Linus. Um, all right. And then I have to watch this. This is annoying. This is annoying to do every pack. All right, next Pikachu pack. Yeah, I do like that they actually like have artwork that extends to the back. That that that's a neat a neat little thing that they didn't have to do. Um, let's go with this one. Hey, that was a straight on cut. We have Saint True, Gold Duck, Snom. I I hate it. I, whenever I'm presenting cards on the channel, I try to hold the pack as still as I can to not potentially reveal if we have like a good pull at the back or something. This. It just kind of shows you. It just kind of does it for you. Um, okay, and we have the Nitto Queen. I would assume it's considered an illustration writer, but it's a one gold star. So, okay, not bad. I, I like that. That's nice. Again, it's a digital card. <laughs> it, it, it's a neat thing. It's going to sound mean. If you're spending money on this, you 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 are just wasting your money. I, I don't understand wanting to do that. If, if you're doing it to like do like open it once or twice a day, get your free packs as a fun little thing to do once in a while. Cool. Like, I think that that's exactly what this thing should be used for. And it's pro don't dox me because you want me to review your app. Um, not really a dox, but not stuff I want shown. 
Uh, tap the open pack. No, don't tell me what to do. Uh, okay, I can open multiple packs in a row. Oh, with Pokey Gold. One power. Okay, reduces the time by one hour. So I have 12, which is enough to let me open one more pack. That's. Okay. Um, well, if we're going to do that, we're going to go with the Mewtwo. All right, there you go. All 12 of my time boosters. And Mewtwo time. Oh, come on. Mewtwo time. Oh, I went up. Uh, yep. Swoopat, Zubat, Brushix, Electric. That was worth all 12 of my time boosters, I'll tell you. All right, add them to my decks, because I want to see that after every pick that I open. So next, we do have the Wonder Pick. Um, Where's a card I want to try and aim for? I do like the Starmie, that's not bad, but I know we can do better. Okay, art, illustration wheezing. Um, expired, this Wonder Pack can be restored. I don't want to restore it. Oh, they have different costs associated with them, so that takes three of my five up there. Probably because it has a Zapdos in it. This has all junk, so it only costs one. That one has a Hollow, so it costs two. Interesting. Um, this is no cost, so, okay, bonus pick. Let's go for it. Uh, bottom left has never done me wrong. Bottom left did me wrong. <laughs> cool. I, I, I got a thing. All right, so, obviously, I'm going to go with a three-pointer, right? Like, I feel like your best method is to save up for the three-pointers to try and get something good. And in this case, we're going to go for that wheezing. Again, bottom left will never do you wrong. See, it got me a snom. It got me a snom. That's what I was aiming for. That's what I wanted this entire tom time. Enti entire tom. Snom's the best boy. We got the best thing that we could possibly pull in that one. Uh, there was nothing better anywhere on this page. Uh, this person will receive shop tickets if you send them thanks. So why wouldn't you just do that literally every time? Okay, so we have two left, but... Uh, so it takes 12 hours 12 hours to restore one, is that how that works? Okay, so yeah, 36 hours for full recovery. But in 12 hours, I can do another one wonder pick. So that, that that's that's not too bad as a little bonus thing. Oh, I am now level three. Okay, so now I have access to battling. Battles have been unlocked. You can now try your hand at battling with the cards you have collected. Let's go check out the missions real quick. Okay, I got more time things, so we can open some more packs at the end of the video. Uh, let's just complete all. We got a bunch of them. Okay, and we can claim... I don't even remember what this is. What are you? Okay, so that's time for stamina, right. Okay. Um, so claim, claim... Daily, complete, and that got me another time. Deck missions have been unlocked. A deck is a set of 20 cards to use in battles. Deck missions are missions that involve collecting 20 cards to build a deck. Okay, so all you have to do is get all of the cards required for a deck, and that mission is considered complete. That's an interesting way to do decks. You know, you kind of have to luck of the draw, pull the cards required to build it. And then because I have the two-week premium, I'm able to complete the premium missions. Cool. And then themed collections. Sure, man. Here, you can battle against AI opponents or players from around the world. Let's start by checking the rules in the guide. With this guide, you can learn the rules of participating in battle. Try to progress all the way through from part zero... I'm going to have a lot, a lot to cut out of this part, because I don't want to bore you guys with this tutorial. Unless there's, like, notable things. You'll receive a deck uh, once you complete part six of the battle guide, Evolve Your Pokemon. Okay, so because I don't have enough cards to build my own deck, I assume there's no choice but to do this to get my first deck. I mean, I guess it's worth pointing out that the bench is only three cards in this. Again, that's the point. Just do like a speed duel kind of kind of deal. So so far, tutorial is pretty basic. But if you've never played before, it does a pretty good job of teaching you without taking up too much time. I'm just gonna sit back here. Look, I'll need energy to use attacks. This is the energy zone. So this is a bit different. When it's your turn, energy is generated in the energy zone. Uh, yeah. Okay. 
So I guess you don't have any energies in your actual deck. Okay, tutorial is done. Yeah, first uh, we have 20 cards, okay? 20 card decks, each player must use a deck to battle. You can view your decks here. You can try battling opponents, okay? Uh, I wanted to like click on other things, but you know, guided tutorials. Uh, step up battles have different levels of difficulty. Let's start out with beginner. So we get to fight the Ivy Sword deck, and we have Rapidash with our with our deck. So there's also a feature uh, that does the battling for you automatically, because of course there is. Uh, I mean it's it's fine. I don't plan on using it. Uh, on that note, please try your hand at battling using the deck we gifted you earlier. Yeah, I planned on actually playing. So we have a heat more. Okay, the first actual battle, we're probably going to go off with the Heat more because he's a high HP and only one energy for his first attack. And then, who's good for the back? We're going to go with Farfetch'd. Alright, so they have a rat at half, 40 health. Um, okay, I don't get an energy this turn. Um, what does that Pidgey do? 10 damage, 60 health. Not a bad starter, I suppose. I really do like the look of that Raticate, but let's try and get a Rattata so we can actually... And we got a Ponyta. Okay. Still, still important to have because I can evolve it up to Rapidash. It is the Rapidash deck. It's not like I really got a chance to look into the deck to see what's actually in here. Okay, they're going... Th okay, they are stacking their bench. Alright, 20 damage, that's fine. Magmar. Alright, let's throw our energy on our heat more. I don't want to throw anything else out in the field, so we're just going to go out with combustion. Burn that little rat. Oh, they're stacking on their Pidgey. Only does 10 damage, but I can still take him out in only two turns with what I currently have. Again, nothing I want to put out on the bench. Why did I throw an extra energy on him? I'm stupid. I'm I just instinct. It needed to go on the Ponyta. I'm, I'm extraordinarily dumb. I guess I can pay retreat cost now, right? And still have an energy stacked on him. But that wasn't the goal. I'm hoping to work up towards Rapidash. Or Raticate, but... Alright, he does that 10 damage. That's fine. Please, Rapidash. And a Growlithe. Alright, let's throw that on Ponyta. And do another Combustion. There we go. And then they're going to hit me for another 10 unless they feel like paying their Retreat, which is only one. They could pay it. Nope. So they are sacrificing their Pidgey, not the smartest move. Um, I, there's no reason not to. I don't know what Rapidash is going to need for energy. So I'm going to go ahead and throw another one on Ponyta. And then we're going to Pokeball just to see what we get. Mostly just the empty crap out of my hand so I can try and get what I need. Um, Alright, so 30 health left on that Pidgey. Let's take it out and claim our second point. Pidgey is down. Oh, my collar got popped up somehow. Something, I knew something felt weird. Alright, so they want the Jigglypuff, which is a problem, because it can just take down my heat more now, which I wasted an energy on. Alright, but it's fine. Choose a Pokemon to switch in. I don't have any energy on my Farfetch, so I can throw one on, on turn one. I, I want to get to that Rapidash, and I haven't pulled it yet, so... Farfetch gets to be our next pawn. Alright, throw an energy on him. And then we need something else on our back line. We do have the Sizzlipede, so we can work our way up. That's going to be four energy costs, though, and I'm not going to reach that by the time this guy's out. Like, I'm just straight up not going to. Because um, I have to evolve him as well, which, you know, I have the option. <sighs> what is my best game here? Probably throw Magmar out. 
Alright, let's leak slap. And realistically, I'll, I have to just do 20 damage on Jigglypuff, but they can pay that retreat to not lose him. And there they are stacking their Cotini, so they might be trying, but nope, they went for the attack, so I just won. Stressing about nothing. Uh, just for funsies, we'll throw the energy on Magmar, and then we'll go with our Leak Slap again. It'd be nice if I knew my deck, right? Like, if I had the chance to look it over, but it wouldn't let me. I get it, it's a beginner battle, who cares? But, like, let me... let me check it out. So, it, card of the game went to Heat more. It's interesting how they do. I like that system. Uh, turn order, I went first. 13 turns, uh, 3 points to 1, 200 damage done. Alright, I unlocked the next deck that I can try and fight. But let's go back. So we have the setup battle beginner, intermediate, advanced, and then expert solo. Hmm. If we do versus... Yeah, so if you want to do battle against AI, you only have these preset battles to do. Um, so eventually, if your plan is to avoid playing online, you're going to kind of run out of stuff to do. All right, so now I guess we're just... Oh, I have more missions to turn in. Uh, we're going to finish it off with just opening some more packs. All right, let's do some more packs to end out this video. So do I have enough to open 10 packs? Uh, I believe... I do. I had exactly enough uh, <laughs> things to do 10 packs straight, so that is neat. Uh, interesting that it also all picked Mewtwo. Okay, that's a neat little animation. I like that. All right, uh, two of him, Tentacles, and a Scorch, and a beautiful Cubone. Big fan of that guy. I mean, I'm not happy that they're all crying. <laughs> I, oh, I didn't mean to swipe it away. One of them was sleeping, and one of them was, like, consoling one of the others, but they were mostly all crying. Um, Lilligant. We have Sazzle, Golit, Raticate, Tentacruel, Sandshrew, Scyther, Scyther, Dragonair. My, I love me a Dragonair. Uh, Golurk, Ponyta, Petalil, Old Amber, and an Articuno EX is a double gold star. I, I'm starting to just not understand these rarities. But, the, oh, the 3D effect on the Articuno itself is nice. Okay, I, I I like their full RDXs. That That's cool. I mean, there's no Zapdos, but, you know, it's still a legendary bird. Sandshrew, Golurk, Ekans, Grimer, Brushix. Let's see, Giovanni, Ralts, Zubat, Grimer, Chinchino. We're on pack number nine. Tentacle, Marowak, Weedle, Sazazzle, Pidgeot. And lastly, we have the Curlia, Golet, Helioptile, Ekin, Cinescorch. So, not bad. I'm a big fan of this Cubone. But just very sad card, but I like it. At least they have each other, right? But, I mean, that Articuno. That, that's just beautiful. I, I, me, me big fan. Fly bird, fly. Now see, when I do 10 packs in a row like that, that's when I want to see the animation that plays of them all going into the deck. Decks. Uh, the number 80 brings them to my tentacle. It, it's 80 tentacles. It has 80 tentacles? Can stretch and shrink freely. Tentacruel ensnares its prey in a net spread out of, uh, of spread out tentacles, delivering venomous stings to its catch. 100 cards. The number 100 brings the mind much up. Its whole body is comprised is composed of muscles. Even though it's the size of a human child, I can hurl 100 grown-ups. Uh, so its whole body is muscle. So can it see? Is it blind? It, does it have a brain? All right, and register all of those cards. Yeah, let's press this little skip button there. Oh, wow, okay, it just completely backs out. I thought it, like, fast-forwarded or something. I am now level four, and I have unlocked display boards. Display boards have been unlocked. In display boards, you can place cards you have collected on backdrops. Try creating display boards that are uniquely yours. Why not? Yeah, I'm still just a fan of that Squirtle, though. So, if you do obtain Flair... Oh, right, we only have one of the Squirtle. It was the Arcanine that we had two of. Because I want to try out the Flair system. Not that there's really much to it. Our canine obtain flare. I thought I have to. You cannot exchange unless there are two or more cards remaining afterwards. 
So I have to have three? All right, let's let's flare this ponyta. Let's get some flare on this horse. What what do you mean? You can all exchange unless there are two or more cards remaining afterwards. What I'm gathering is that the flare system is not equal. If you want to do an EX, it's going to take probably less cards, but more points. But then, like, I have tell required at least, what was it, two cards or three? Yeah, it required three cards, and you still have to have two remaining. So you have five Ponyta in order to do the flare on it. That's wacky. So I have eight points now. Is there anything worthwhile? I mean, these are neat. The uh, the cover's here, but of course I don't have enough. You can get specific ca uh, item cards. It's interesting. Um... I wouldn't mind getting a better emblem, but that's a hundred of those. We have none of these special series, the shop tickets. Uh, limited time. Don't have any of those points. So premium I do. And this Pikachu only costs one. Hell yeah, we're getting this Pikachu. Oh, look at that beautiful boy. He looks, uh... Looks real cocky in that one. Oh my god, I got one card and it makes me do this. Okay, so it's actually a promo section. That's interesting. So promo A, there are 24 cards, Pikachu being one of them. Um, okay, so accessories. Okay, I can actually afford a couple of these. Card sleeves are nice. What What is backdrop for? Oh, so that's like a card frame. So if I got a good Mewtwo card, I could pick this up, put the Mewtwo in the frame. Uh, so the Mewtwo cover, a cover for binders that can be used in using the binders feature. Interesting. So the playmat, coin, and a sleeve. Screw it, let's get the sleeves. And the coin, why not? So then how would I apply those? I go here... So yeah, binders is locked, probably have to hit a certain level. Um, yeah, I know, I can build decks. You know, I don't want to- No, don't make me- God, I hate this guided crap, let me turn it off! Yes, auto build grass deck. I'm sure it's great. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, thank you! So I can go here and change the accessories. So we're gonna go with Mewtwo coin. Um, Mewtwo sleeves. And I don't know where that- Evolution playmat came from, but there it is. Um, cool. Oh, you can even get different deck boxes. That's interesting. They look really blocky, but cool. Simple enough to set up. So this was just supposed to be like a little like, let's check it out. Let's look at it. Um, and I, I'd say we achieved that. I've been going for about an hour now. Um, it's, it's interesting. It's definitely something I'm going to keep on my phone. While this was using my account, it wasn't on my phone. Um, I, I did Nintendo's most hated thing, emulation. But it's still my account, so. But I'll probably be trying it out once in a while. Uh, maybe if, like, I can get, like, a bunch of packs in one go, I could do, like, YouTube shorts or something on it. But the idea of being able to do, like, the occasional video or whatever, there's... I don't know, there's not really a whole lot to it. Like, maybe doing some battles and stuff could be interesting for a video, but I I don't know. But it's definitely something that's going to take, you know, a few minutes of my day, uh, every day. Because I have a problem. Either way, if you guys liked this video, give it a like, subscribe to the channel, all of that fun stuff. Uh, I'm gonna have a... Uh, this side, I'm gonna have a random video linked, I really don't know which one I'm gonna do, and a playlist of all of my Pokemon videos if you feel like binging. So, thank you guys very much for watching, and hopefully, I will see all of you next time. Goodbye, for now.